welcome. I'm going to show you how to create a list box where you can click on items on the list and when you do, the picture that you see beside the list will change. So I have two things going on here. I have a form, which we're looking at right now, called Switch Images, and a module called Switch Images. I guess it's forms. FRM switch images and then switch images for the module and these are inside a template that I named switch images which I will mail to you if you request it email um, okay so in the form itself I put all my images here and I put a list box here now I left these kind of messy just to show you how I would clean them up I could grab all of them and do format align left and then I could grab everything and say format align tops. And in real life, you know, I'd have little text box probably saying to select and whatnot. So let's look at the code inside the form. For the list box itself, I'm going to double click that to see its code. When it changes, so I pick change over here and added this code, it's going to see, uh, declare a variable for ILI, that's my little shortcut for an integer that is a list index. That's just my abbreviation that I use all the time. And I should pause to tell you, technically they say you really shouldn't use integers in VBA anymore because you should use a long instead because what VBA does is it takes all the integers as the code runs and converts them to a long. So it's putting it through a tiny little process It's going to take probably a nanosecond of a nanosecond to convert that number from integer to long. But I'm so used to using integers and I'm just used to it. So I did what I did. Um, but I should have used a long. Anyhow, so then me is the form that I'm in. So with me, the form itself, I want to say uh, the list index equals the outlines list index. And you probably are already familiar with this. But if I was typing this, because I said with me, and I'm inside of me, the user form, if I type the period, then I get all my choices for with what's inside the use a form and I can then, you know, press tab and do whatever I want to them. So that's how I got the LB outlines. I didn't like look it up and type it. I was able to see. So I'm getting the list index. The index is which item is chosen from the list.lb outlines is my list box. Then I'm going to run some code called hide all images. And what that does is it runs through and takes every image that I put in there and sets its visible property to false. Uh, now, I could have been fancy and done something like, you know, for each image on the form, make its visible false, or for each control that starts with IMG, but it was easiest just to type them out instead of thinking that hard in this case. Okay, so I hide them. They're all invisible now. And then it looks to see what the list index is. ILI, which one did they click on? The very first top one is zero, and then it goes from there, one, two, three, four. So if they, I did a select case, I could have done an if, then, else, then, else, if, else, if, else, if. But instead I did the select case, which I really like this way of doing it. Um, so if it's zero, then it's the agreement and that one will become visible. If it's number one, it's the default, that one becomes visible and so on. If it's none of those, then it shows us an image that I named image none, which is just tells people, hey, please pick an outline. So that's um, how that works. So it runs through there. Then the end user will see the right picture based on what it, which one it makes visible. Then when they click OK, you could have this set up so that your code right here does whatever you want with the outline. I usually do most stuff outside of the form. So when they click OK for me, I just set a little tag on the form to OK. So we know that they do want to proceed as opposed to cancel. And then I hide the form. So the form just disappears from sight. 
Now, what triggers this form and all this is in switch images, my module here, I have this procedure. Show me the picture. So I declare a string so that later I could get the outline name from the form and do whatever I want with it. Then I have with the form itself. And then within it, we have that list box again. So I'm with in the form switch images with LB outlines, my list box. And then I just add each item that I want. So I just had to pay attention, you know, what are my image names? What are my outlines? And put the outline names that I want to have show up on the list box in here. I just added them in individually. Now in real life, I might actually be doing something like reading all the template names that hold different outlines in them from a folder or pulling a list of names out of a database. Uh, but in this case, I just had a few, so I just manually typed them out and they will show up. Then uh, we set the form tag to cancel so that if they don't click OK, it won't get switched back to OK and it will know not to do anything. We hide all the Im images, so that's that code that makes them all invisible. We set the image named image none to be visible, and then we show them the form. If once they pick what they want, they choose OK, we're good to go. Um, the form gets hidden from view, and we say, hey, what is the text in the list box? Uh, get that information, because that's going to be my outline name. And then I just said, message box, you have chosen wisely. But you know, this is where your code would be. All this would be whatever you want to do. And so you could have this code here, or again, it could be inside the form. Uh, you know, when they click OK, you tell it to do whatever. So let's just run through it. Well, I'll run through it once um, by just pressing F8 on the keyboard. So F8. Here we go. We're adding items to the list box. We're setting the form tag. We're hiding all the images. So it just jumped into the form itself and it's hiding them. Now it's taking that one image that its name was IMG none, making that visible, showing us the form. There it is. Now see, this is image none, what it looks like. So that's the one I'm seeing. Let's see what the pleading looks like. So I'm going to click the pleading. And that jumps me to the change event for the list box because something just changed the list index. F8. I have to find the F8 key. Uh, so we get the list index to find out which one they chose. We tell it to hot make them all invisible. So I'm not going through, you know, if this, else, that stuff. Then we select the case and pleading happened to be number three on the list. So it knows that the third or the fourth one technically is the pleading. So it knows to make that image visible. And then we're done with that. And now if we go look where we are in the form, if I can, here's the pleading one. Now I'll just pick out agreement and press F8 to run this again. You understand what's going on here. Then let's take a look. There's the picture for agreement. When I'm all done, I'll say OK or cancel. OK. Sets the tag to OK. Hides the form from the user's view. And now we pick right back up after where we showed them the form. If it, they chose OK, then I want to do whatever it is you want to do. In, this, in my case, I decided to get the name of the outline from the list box in the form and just show people a message telling them, how great they are. Say OK. And I'm done. Unload the form from memory and get out of here. So let's actually run it from the document. I made a button for it here. So if I click this, whichever one I click, boom, switches the image. I'll cancel this. Well, I'll say OK. I like getting the little message. But if I cancel, it just goes away. And I too shall go away now.